Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Elyon Adonai. Age to age, you're still the same. By the power of your name, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Kamkan Adonai. We will praise and lift you high. El Shaddai. Yeah, literally, Siri thought I was calling her. The words are right here. That's funny. It's okay, let's keep going. Through your love and through the ram, you saved the son of Abraham. Through the power of your hand, you turned the sea into dry land. To the outcast on her knees, you were the God who really sees. And by your might, you set your children free. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Elyana Adonai. Age to age, you're still the same. By the power of your name, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Kamkana Adonai. We will praise and lift you high. El Shaddai, through the years you've made it clear that the time of Christ was near. Though the people couldn't see what Messiah ought to be, though your word contained the plan, they just could not understand. Your most awesome work was done through the frailty of your son. Hell should I, hell should I, Eliana Adonai. We shall praise and lift you high, hell should I. Even God has a sense of humor because Suri asked me what I wanted during that. Which I think is his little way of saying, yeah. Like Google and Suri, not quite the same. You should really ask me for the answers. Just how I'm perceiving that whole thing. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy and today is Shopping Saturday. And so I don't normally do Sunday videos and I actually really like a lot of Christian rock. So I thought I was going to sing one of my all-time favorites. She has the same name as me. Amy Grant, and uh, I just love El Shaddai. I, the, my daughter sang it once in church, and it was the most amazing thing ever. She thought she, she was like a little shy, thought she couldn't sing, and she did such a great job. Somewhere I have a home movie of that. Anyway, love Amy Grant, always have. So there was a little church music on a Saturday morning. Hey, besties, hello, hello, hello. And if you are new here, stick around. We do a lot of fun things on this channel. And besides, it's a Dollar Tree shopping haul, which is really what you're here to see, right? And I have got a large haul. I believe I do the largest hauls on um, on YouTube, I'm pretty sure, because I have, I have large hauls. Anyway, let me tell you just a few things about this channel. If you look in the description box below, you're going to find out about the uploads that I do every week. But this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. A dollar, people. A dollar. Also, I have a giveaway that I do every week. You just have to watch Tuesday, Thursdays, like, comment, be a subscriber, and you're entered in to win a drawing for a $20 gift card. You have to comment on both videos. Also, as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, which were so close, I'm going to give away a $50 gift card, but just make a comment from now until we hit that 1,000 because I'm going to draw randomly from the video that actually hurdles me over that last hump to 1,000. So... Just comment on all of them. From You should always comment anyway. Just comment. And I would so encourage all of you, if you're not a subscriber, to consider subscribing. 
and hitting that notification bell so that tells you every time I upload. Okay, have I said enough? I think so. Did I cover everything? I think so. Let's do a haul. Holla for the dollar haul. Holla for the dollar haul. Ooh, that might be a new one. I like that. Do you guys like that? Holla for the dollar haul. Holla for the dollar haul. Because it's a dollar, people. A dollar. All right, let's go. I swore I wasn't going to buy any more Halloween. Like, I literally swore I wasn't buying any more Halloween. Because I did a whole Halloween haul. I'll link that below, by the way. All the Halloween stuff that I bought. But guess what? Mm, da, 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 da. I bought more. Don't tell my guy. By the way, when we hit a thousand, he also does his debut on my YouTube channel here. Okay, so this is a sign. And honestly, I mostly got it because I think I'm gonna wear wear it. I'm gonna wear it like around my neck. No, I'm gonna use it for the wedding. Um, and I just really like it. It's very old timey looking. I feel like this just has a really cool pattern on the back of it. I love it. Skull and crossbones. We're doing a pirate wedding. If you're new here, you don't know I'm getting married in November and it's a pirate themed wedding and I've gotten so many things from the Dollar Tree. By the way, excuse the way I look. I'm filming this on Thursday, going camping this weekend. Went to the gym, had to get my videos done so you get this. But it does say love because I love you. All right. Beware. I really like this sign. Excuse me. They had other ones, but none of them were like, mm, I don't know. This is the one I really liked. So I'm probably going to use that for the wedding. I'm literally going to put stuff back here because I have no room. Yeah. What does that tell you? Okay. So this is really funny. I went in. I did my haul. I mean, I bought all my stuff for my haul. And I'm walking out and they're unloading a box. And I'm like, wait, what? What are those? Because I need, need, need them. And the lady's like, oh my gosh. Well, if you like those, then here, let me open up this box. So first what I saw was these. And I think there might be more. I've only found these two. So they say Day of the Dead. There's the guy. Hold on, I put this stuff down. There's the guy and there's the girl. Now I don't want these as steaks, so I'm probably gonna take them off and not have them be steaks because I'd like to embellish them some and have some fun with them. But I'm, I mean, that's what I'm thinking right now. Is that what I'm really gonna do? I don't really know. I'm not sure, but just for now. Anyway, so I saw these and I'm like, oh! I need to have those. And so she's like, well, if you like those, then let me open up this box. And she goes, because I, because you just bought a whole bunch. So let me open up the box and show you these. Like if I had only spent a dollar, maybe she wouldn't have done that. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so she opens up the box and I'm like, holy buckets. Oh, by the way, it's the nicest Dollar Tree that I go to. Not nicest, cleanest. The nicest people work there. Like every time I go in, and I've told them that too. Like you guys are just the nicest Dollar Tree people. Anyway, okay, check these out. I love these. They're so cool. Are these not cool? I wanna do like a totem pole of them. Don't you think that's like the way to do it? Like a totem pole of these skulls? Arrgh. Ooh, they look so mean. No. Um, anyway, come on. And they're full of glitter. Not that I need any of that. It's gonna be all over me now. Wait, it'd be like a really cool costume. Boom, 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 boom. No? Okay. Anyway, feeling a little goofy today. Third video of the day. It gets a little goofy after three. So maybe I just make it a Halloween costume. It could be like the head on my shoulder. Like, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. No bones about it. Ba -dum -ba -dum. <laughs> so she opened up the box and I bought those three. The guy had already done shopping and I'm walking out. I'm like, oh my God, where were those? How did I miss those? All right. So the other Halloween stuff that I've gotten is these. So I found these two. I love these. I found some of them last year. I didn't get all of them, but these things are just so cool. They're just great decoration all by themselves. But I mean, you can take something like this, for instance, and these are those books that are boxes. So you could take something like this, for instance, and like just put a great big spider on top of it. Um, they're just fun. I personally really love like the sides of them. This one says, which is the book of spells. This one says just spells, and I love those just the way they are. This one has the one eye on it. Anyway, they're just the books. So these were the only two I found. I'm guessing there's more. I mean, I doubt there's just these two, but this is what I found. So I grabbed those. I loved those. Here I go again. Gonna move everything back there as I haul it. And then they had these boxes. I'm like, wait, what? I don't need any more. Aren't these pretty? No. And then there's this one. And then there's 
these two. Okay, so these are those Dawn of the Dead skull thingies. They're just so cool. Again, this would make the cutest totem pole because we would go from large to small. That one might actually be better than the other one because these are more three-dimensional too. Anyway, they're just great. I mean, these are great boxes and they're boxes, you know, so. You go, oh, look at the insides. Oh, are they all that, I wonder? I didn't even look at the insides. Oh, no, this one's spider webs. Ooh, yeah, let's see what's on the inside. This would be a fun little game. Fun little game. Also, if you happen to know anybody that was like, oh, there we go. It's the roses, because the dawn and the dead, they always have the roses. And this one has flowers. If you know anybody that's like born on Halloween, or even an October, like late October birthday, how fun would it be to do a tower gift with these? You know, and you can just put different things in them. You know, I, food. I mean, you could do food if it was for a grown-up or something like that. Anyway, I just think they're super cool. Um, I might even use them as decorations on the pirate wedding. I feel like skulls are sort of Dawn of the Dead. Maybe not so much, but in some ways I can pull it in. So, I don't We'll see. I'm not exactly sure right now. I just knew I had to buy them. I mean, that's all I really knew. Oh, I found one. So I hadn't seen these and I hadn't picked any up. I'm not picking up anymore. I only picked up one because if I do a DIY, I'm just going to do it with one. So there's that. One random lonely pumpkin. And this spider, which you already sort of saw, I only got one. I was like telling myself, Amy, you need no more Halloween. I actually don't like the eyes. I would get rid of the eyes. Oh, yeah, I just started to come off. Um, but I do like the size of this. Look, it's a fairly big spider. And so this would be really great on some DIY. I don't know which one right now because I'll pull out all of Halloween and I'll start to create. But it will be good on some Halloween DIY. So I got that. Ah! Oh, and I found the lace table runner. So I'm kind of mad I didn't get another couple of these because these would really work great for my wedding. But also, like, this is so a Dawn of the Dead thing. So, like, the lace and it's the black, you know. The, put it over there. Their heads. There we go. Do we like this look? I can make it a scarf, a Halloween scarf. But there's so many things I could do with this. and um, I, But I only picked up one. And I'll probably use it on, on a table. But at my dining room table, I'm guessing. Or in a DIY, and I'm not sure. Then there's this guy. But listen, okay, so at first I picked up five and then I put them back and I'm like, nope, no, 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 Amy. You're gonna pick up one and try it first. So my idea is to put an eye patch on him. So he'll be a pirate um, solar light that night at the wedding, right? Cause I can put him in different, like we can light him up and charge him and then put him like in different things that night. Like, like even on the food table and stuff like that, I think it'd be cute if it was like a pirate, a pirate skeleton. I think it'd be cute. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. I haven't made the eye patch yet or anything, but I will. All right, and then um, I just had to. I don't even these they've these they've got them as Halloween because by the tag, but I feel like they could also be Thanksgiving. I mean, I don't know why they have to be Halloween because it's like maple leaves and all that. But for some, I'm not a big gnome person, but I'm starting to become one. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. So I got these for my own kitchen and I don't normally change like my stuff at a, at a, at a holiday, you know, during a holiday or a, um, a season. Is Halloween a holiday? I mean, technically, no. Anyway, but, um, but I did and I'm going to because I thought these were just super cute. So there's the gnomes. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping gnomes. There's gnomes everywhere. And then what else is Halloween? I haven't seen anybody else haul these. So tell me you guys, maybe it's, maybe I just haven't seen, I have not seen anybody else haul these. And they are my favorite Halloween decoration so far this year. Check these out. They are so adorable. They give me such vintage vibes of like the, the old metal toys, right? So vintage. The vibe on these is so vintage. I'm trying to hold two at once so you can see them all. Check these out. And they're on like a little rocker. Look, they've got, can you see if I go this way? Like there's this little rocker. So you put them down and they rock. So we have the jack-o'-lantern. Love him. It's like day of the, is it day of the dead? Dawn of the dead was the TV show, right? 
It's Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Wasn't that a movie or TV show? Anyway, so it's like a Day of the Dead pumpkin. What a great idea, by the way. I mean, we're all doing these pumpkins, these wood pumpkins that are jack-o'-lanterns. You can make one Day of the Dead. I kind of like that. I might actually do that. And then here we go. Here's Friday, who's the Day of the Dead Friday cat. And then the Day of the Dead dog. So cute. And then, of course, the skull. So these are all the Day of the Dead, which was, these were that when I walked up and it was like, I didn't see those. These were also the walk back in, grab and buy. It was all the Day of the Dead stuff that they had, they were just putting out. Anyway, I haven't seen anybody else haul these. These are my favorite Halloween decorations so far. And I imagine they will stay my favorite just because I think they're super cool. I think they're a nice quality and they're a dollar, people, a dollar. And they're the kind of thing that you'll pull out year after year after year after year to decorate with. Okay, only a couple things in fall, so let's do those really quickly. I got the truck with the pumpkins in it. I don't need any more wood things to paint. Why do I keep doing it? I don't know. And then this one is a gather together. He's broken. Dang it. It's gather together. I think I can fix it though because I have some wood and I think I can fix that. So, dang, dang. I could just take off the together and have it be gather, which would also be okay. I would be okay with that. So we'll see what I do. Actually, was that I sort of was thinking I want to do on my witch hat cornucopia, and so I was thinking that, that would be good with that. I found one D. Um, so I think I hauled a couple of these right in my fall stuff, and. Um, and I wanted one more or something. I can't remember now exactly why, but yeah. And then this is my last name and my last name. So I got a couple of those. I love these. I think they're so adorable and they're just great to put around anywhere just for some fall decorating, right? This could totally go up by Effingham. Effingham, would you like a pumpkin on your wall? Would you like me? I'm going to decorate you for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. Doesn't that excite you? Effingham's happy about that. Okay. No. And no, he's asking if he gets to pick out his outfits. Like, no, mama gonna dress you because you don't know how to dress yourself, Effingham. All right, so anyway, I found these with the arms. So I'm super excited about that. And then finally for the fall, well, is this really fall? I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's totally the fall stuff. But I was so happy because I found Gather. I don't know that I've ever gotten Gather before. And I found Family and I found Thankful. Now I would have bought two of each cause you know I love to put these together and make it more substantial, but they only had like three of each and I didn't want to be that person. And so I'm like, if, I'm, if I find it again, I'll buy them again so I can double them up. But I wanted to leave some, you know, I hate to, I hate to take everything. So I didn't and hopefully I'll find them again, but I was happy to find those. And if that's all I find, I'll be okay with that. So that was it for fall. All right, while I'm, Right here though, let's finish up the crafting stuff. And then this was a cleaning haul, like cleaning. I don't have to buy cleaning stuff for eons. Who says that word, eons? That's a weird word, isn't it? All right, now this was something brand new and I'm super excited about it. Um, and this is a tear off palette. So this is nine by 12 inch and you can see like you, you tear it off, like you use the paper it's got 15 sheets in here. Now I'm actually gonna open it up because what I'm curious about is, is the paper like a wax paper? Um, obviously it can't be just paper paper because it would bleed through, right? I love to paint and I think this would be super convenient while doing crafting just to have this and then like boom, you do a little, oh yeah, it's wax, totally wax. This is very nice, I'm loving this. What a great crafting supply thing. This is going right in my crafting cart. So you have 15 sheets. So when you're painting and you're mixing up paints and whatnot, do it all on here and then you throw it all away. Beautiful. No mess, just no mess, no fuss. Just crinkle it up and throw it away. So I believe this is brand new, you guys. Um, if anybody else is, I've never seen it before. So I was happy to find that and pick that up. Also, I picked up a few more glues, tacky glue. I love this Aliens tacky glue. It's wonderful stuff. And it's Aileen's, which I think is normally at Joanne's, Joanne's Fabrics, I believe. And I don't know why it's there, but it's now Greenbrier on it. So I'm assuming it's going to be there from now on, I hope. 
And then because I'm getting collecting stuff to do my DT threads, which is Dollar Tree clothes, making clothes out of Dollar Tree stuff, um, I was really looking for something, like I need a fabric glue, and I haven't found one specifically yet there that says fabric glue, but this like shows gluing the embellishments onto a hat. So it's like, okay, but I'm gonna try it. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a good test. It says perfect glue for blinging. So that would tell me like you're blinging onto a material. I don't know, right? But it says perfect for embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, trims. So I, I don't know. Anyway, well, that's what we're gonna try. And then I found the new vinyl paper patterns. So we have our Buffalo, our Red Check, and our Cheetah, is it Cheetah, Tiger, what is that? Cheetah, Giraffe, um, I don't know. It's an animal print. So I found those, I was happy to find those because these were these are just coming out and I know some people have found them and a lot of people can't. I was so happy to find these to put them into my stash. Now what am I gonna do with them? I'm not exactly sure yet, but they're just going into my craft supply stash and I'll know it's there. And then, you know, I mean like, hopefully I'll use some of that for something in the in the Christmas stuff, I'm thinking. I actually have a whole bunch of animal stuff I wanna do, so this would work perfect for that. Leftover from my cat day, I have animal stuff. <laughs> okay, and then, obviously, the wedding is pirate theme, and we're doing the invitations or scrolls in, in a bottle, and then there's sand and shells in them. Well, I bought all the little things of shells, because they were, the bottles like this with shells, because they were little shells, but I'd never seen these before. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want those. I need those. So I picked, I threw a few of these. I didn't throw them, they would have broke. I grabbed a few of these um, for the wedding stuff, for the invitations, which I'm getting ready to do in the next two weeks. I did write out the invitations. Now I'm, it's like a here, a heart. <laughs> Yamades or something, I can't remember now. Anyway, it's funny. All right, and then the last thing in crafting are these stickers. So. They're a dollar. Now, is that good or is that not good? You can, I don't know. I'm not sure. But they're nice stickers and I like them. My guy's home. Um, and so I was like, okay, we're gonna we're just gonna get them and see like I can see crafting with them. But it says they're great for mirrors, laptop devices, and more. This one's super pretty. Oopsie, sorry. It says choose kindness or kindness choose. That's backwards. Kindness choose. Okay, whatever. But I really love it. I think that's very pretty graphic. So I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. Hi, honey. And then a choose the sun. Chase the sun, I'm sorry. I'm stuck on choose. Chase the sun. Radiant positivity, love that one. Let your light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Is that stuck in your head now? Because it will be all day. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Are you my sunshine? Also love, what is coming is better than what is gone. I don't know what this blue blob behind it is, but okay, whatever. Let my life be proof of your love. That's sweet. I love this one. It's like this daisy with like a... Oh, I got two accidentally of those. Well, anyway, it's a daisy with, with a heart in the middle. Didn't mean to get two of those, but that's okay. Radiate joy. Girls can do anything. Because girls just want to have fun. Oh, girls just don't want to have. Kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. That one. Faith over fear. I really like this one. This one is like such a DIY. See, totally framing that, doing a nice shabby chic thing with it. That's just us, because on my brains yesterday I did Shabby Chic, which were, no, not yesterday, two days ago, which I was like in love with. That's my new thing, I think, maybe. And then, and now three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love with the Bible verse there. Absolutely love that one. Let go and let God. That one's pretty. And I can all, I can do all things through Christ. He strengthens me. So these are, some of these are super good for some DIY projects. Others like, yeah, put it on a mirror or if you're gonna wrap up a package, like just stick one of these stickers on it with a really positive message on it. If you're mailing off a box, also a good idea. Stick it on a laptop, stick it on a mirror. Do you know there's lots of lots of ways that you can use these stickers, but they're new. I got all the ones that I could find and obviously I'll be using these. I absolutely love them. Let's dive into cleaning. Oh, I have so much cleaning stuff. 
I'm, I'll be right, well, I don't even say I'll be right back, because I'm gonna like hit this, be off, and be back, you won't even know I was gone. All right, I'm back. So let's get into the cleaning supplies that I got, because this is definitely a cleaning haul. So I walked into this one Dollar Tree, and LA's Totally Awesome is a cleaning product that they're carrying. I don't know how long they've carried it. I think it's fairly new, or I just didn't recognize it before, but LA's um, Totally Awesome is a really good cleaning product. So it's exciting to see it there. Man, if you go buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot or something, it's way more expensive than at the Dollar Tree. But what I loved about my find was I found the big refill bottles. What a, what a steal. Oh my gosh. So let's just go through what I bought. First of all, um, the Window Clean Streak Free, it's the vinegar formula, 32 fluid ounces, value size. Whoop, we like those. So a, a window cleaner with vinegar in it is always super good. Um, and what else do I need to say? All right, let's see. So, and it's the LA Solely Awesome. So there's that. All right, so I got my window cleaner. Then they had their um, Rust Lime Calcium All-Purpose Cleaner, new formula, and 32 fluid ounces for their Rust Lime Calcium Cleaner, which is always good around your faucets and stuff when you get calcium buildup. Then I found their... Totally awesome all-purpose concentrated cleaner degreaser spot remover. So I found this and then I found the refill for that. All right. So great buy, both of those, dollar each. But then I'm like, oh, so this is their laundry booster with stain lifter. Mm, can't wait to try that. And this is 16 ounces mixed with warm to hot tap water for laundry. Mix one scoop in each load, start filling washer with water, add LA's Totally Awesome Laundry Booster with your regular laundry detergent before adding laundry. Use instead of bleach. So I'm excited to try this. Then they had their oxygen-based cleaner, chlorine-free, um, and this is so for laundry, for stain removal, for carpet cleaning, so many things. And you mix with warm, hot tap water. Cleaning vinegar, which is one of the things I absolutely love cleaning vinegar. If you mix this with Dawn dish soap, it's amazing for getting away water spots on your glass. And like I have a big glass shower wall and on your tile and stuff like that. So cleaning vinegar with Dawn dish soap is a great little mixture. So then there was the LA's Awesome Cleaner with bleach. So I love cleaners with bleach for the bathroom and for the kitchen. So, but then like there was the refill. So this one is 32 and this one's 64 fluid ounces. Guys, this is a steal. I was like, yes. And I had already bought their um, awesome orange all-purpose degreaser. Found the refill bottle for it. So I accidentally bought two of these. That's okay. I'll use it eventually. I mean, I don't have to buy cleaning supplies for a long time now. And this was also inexpensive. So originally, the reason I stopped and looked in the cleaning department stuff that day was because I needed bleach and then there it was LA's totally awesome bleach I'm like yes fun exciting I got fresh scent they had a couple other scents but I don't remember what they were now oh I think that's leaking I just got yeah no it's the vinegar I'm smelling I don't know yeah it was the vinegar anyway okay so also in the cleaning area I picked up two I threw in um little miniature Laundry detergents, these aren't a great buy. They're just convenient because I only, I usually use pods, but if I'm doing a small load of um, ones that are like, uh, you know, hand wash, but you put them in the delicate, delicate cycle, then I don't want to use a whole pod because I don't have enough in there. And so I will use a regular laundry detergent. So I just grabbed a couple of those and I needed some sponges. So I was super happy to see Scotch Bright sponges there. I love these, they're my favorite sponges of all time. So I bought the Scott Bright, Scotch Bright. And then a Mr. Clean, I love Mr. Clean. It works fabulous when you're crafting, by the way. If you make a mistake, Mr. Clean will usually get things off when I've used markers and then, oops, wrong place, and I've gotten it off with Mr. Clean. So I like Mr. Clean for my crafting stuff. And also, I, this, and I'm like, wait, what? So this is interesting. This is Roll High 75% wet, 75% ethanol wet wipe for home, office, vehicle, and travel. There's a hundred wipes in here. And I'm like, ethanol? So features saturated with 75% ethanol. Ethanol, is that what 
we put in gas? Yeah. Wipes are soft and comfortable. Soft pack with flip top lid keeps wipes moist. Wipes are perfect for home, office, vehicle, and travel. All right, I gotta open them, you guys, because I'm like, ethanol, what's that gonna smell like? Just a curiosity got me. I was just like, mm. I don't, I mean, I've never heard of that before. Maybe I just live in a box. I, I don't know, I've never heard of this. I mean, I know gasoline, like if you wanna, you can use gasoline to clean lots of things. Gasoline is a great cleaner, but I mean, not for you inside your house, so. They smell, they smell like ethanol. That's kind of weird. They don't smell like a regular wipe. These definitely have a, oh, whoa. That's strong. I think I just cleaned my nose. Wow, that's strong, you guys. Oh, I don't know. There's something about a strong smell like that too. It makes you feel like you're actually getting it cleaned. I pulled out more than one, so I had to push it back in there. Okay. These are very strong smelling. I feel like, like this is what, you know, wipe down areas that are like high with, you know, lots of touching and stuff. <laughs> like, it's a very strong smell. Just never heard of ethanol wipes. Okay, well, there's a hundred in there. I was like, I had to get them just because I wanted to see what they smelled like. By the way, who are they distributed by? Just curious. They're good until 2020, 2022. Um, it's made in Korea. Doesn't say who they're distributed by. I don't know. I don't think this is not a Greenbrier thing. I think this is just a random thing that's in there. No, well, I'll let you know. They smell for sure. Okay, and then like in the, um, I don't know, other kind of stuff. So Raid Fly Ribbons, and I got these for camping. Yeah, love going out to the wilderness, lots of bugs. All right, and then I found the boo, Bargain Mama. Actually already picked me up, picked these up for me. Oh, and I should tell you guys, like by the time you're watching this, I, her and I got together on Friday, which for me is tomorrow, and we're doing um, a video together, which will air next week. So, which was really fun. I was going down to Tucson, so we're meeting. We're going to do some shopping in Tucson as opposed to last time we did it some other place. Anyway, she had hauled these, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I need those, and I haven't found them. So she got them for me. That's fine. So I have more than one. I'm totally fine with that because I'm going to use these. And that would be the very thing gel stain. This is natural. And then this is the Rust-Oleum gel stain golden oak. Like, wait, what? So all these furniture marker projects, I can, I can use some actual stain. See now, all my stuff comes from the Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. Well, then they have these Rust-Oleum. I don't know exactly what these are. I can't figure it out. So there's red, white, and silver. So it says, it matte, this is a matte red. It says peel coat, temporary peelable coating. Great for wheels, hoods, and racing stripes. So what, you can paint it and then peel it off? I mean, that's what I'm getting from it. So I don't know, I don't know anything about it. I'll find out though. And then this one is silver, same thing. It's like peelable, it says peel coats. Temporary peelable coating. I don't know. And then this one is peelable primer. So it makes any Rust-Oleum spray paint removable. So you put this on, then you spray with a Rust-Oleum spray paint and then it would be removable. Why, why would you want that? I don't know. But I got them. They were only a dollar, people, a dollar. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to figure this out. I don't know. Like, why I would want something to be peelable, but other than an orange. So, I don't know. Anyway. So, I picked those up. We'll see. I'll, I'll try and we'll find out. Baby powder, because remember, I bought the mint oil, which I'm going to mix with powder for, for um, sprinkling all over for rodents up at the camper. Because, you know, you have to... We're in their territory. Um, let's see, in cleaning stuff or, I don't know, health and beauty. This is a really large thing of shaving cream and it's just regular shaving cream, so I got it for my guy. I'm thinking, is there a lot of difference in shaving cream? I don't know. I will tell you though, the Power Stick Shave Cream for Women, amazing. Like amazing. I don't have any lipstick on, do I? It's leftover. Okay, then 
let's stick with that health and beauty. Um, I love these. They're their mini razors. They're like for travel. So it's like this little thing that you put in your travel. And there's a little mini razor. Well, it's a regular size razor, but it's like a miniature handle. These are phenomenal for travel. I just, mine, I just threw away. So I needed to get a new one to replace that for my travel bag. And anything else in health and beauty? I don't think so. So let's move on then. Dog toys. Do you see how big this is? Do you see how much rope is in here? I just want this for the rope. I want it for the colorful rope for bohos. These are all three, I think, the same. And they've got a little bit of metallic in them. I don't know if you guys, it's not going to pick it up here. Well, what I want to know is how hard it's going to be for me to undo these. Because I want to undo them. So I don't know if that's going to be hard or not. And if it is really hard, I feel like I can just snip one end and like undo it maybe i'll let you know but for a dollar for this really cool rope to make something boho it's pretty nice i like that and um corner guards so these are in the baby aisle and i got them for building i'm thinking like for building a lantern so often when we're putting these things together and we're trying to build a square in crafting it's hard to get them to hold and get them to square up so i thought well, couldn't I square them up with these? And it would be added stability to the base of it. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. And the reason I got two sets, because I was like, do I need one on the bottom and one on the top, possibly to balance it? So I got two sets, I, I'll let you know. I mean, maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. Mm. But it was an idea. If not, I'll find something else to do with it. Oh, in health and beauty aisle, also I got, for the guy. Apparently I snore. I don't hear it. <laughs> I don't care. Party aisle. Okay, so I think these are really fun. And I got them just basically to show you guys. This is fun. Like, first of all, for Halloween costumes and whatnot, they're super great. But I'm going to use the hearts just for Halloween. I mean, um, for Valentine's Day. And I can redo them. I can recover them. And they're already on a stick. So I really like that. So if you're doing a floral thing or something... You can, it's, it's done for you. Just cover the heart or something. But also there's four in here. And I just think how fun for a little girl's birthday party. I have not seen these before. And, but I did get them just to show you and then stick them in my Valentine's stuff. I found a few more calendars and I will be doing a calendar giveaway. So I found a couple more of the farmer's market one, which we love, right? And one more of the enjoy the little things. And I do love the florals on this one, on the back of this one. I just think they're stunning. So these are specifically to go into my giveaway pile because I'll be doing calendar giveaway. By the way, Bargain Mama, is she is doing like a calendar a day for the whole month. No, a calendar a week. Is it a calendar a week for the rest of the year? So watch your channel. Make sure you get in on that. That's a nice little giveaway. Um, I don't have that many, so I can't. <laughs> anyway, all right. So now let's go down. This is just um, in like the, the regular, you know, uh, that aisle. Wood ones, like a nice size wood clothes, um, clothespin. So I got these to add to my crafting supplies. I have the miniature ones, but I was like, oh yeah, I could definitely use some of those. Plus at Christmas time, the clothespins come in so many, there's so many cute little crafts you could do. And they're also great for like doing little ornaments with and whatnot. And so that's for those. Okay, where am I gonna go next? This. Random, just love, love you. Uh, I haven't seen this before. They had it in white also. I did not get the white. I didn't like the white, but I did get this one. So many things, you guys. Remember, anytime there's the word love, you can put anything in here and make it that, um, I don't have, did I already put my, mm, I already put my, um, stuff away or stuff it in a bag but look like you can take anything in love and make it you know a whole new thing now it's a halloween love or i don't know put a pumpkin thing up there and do it for fall so this becomes like you could make this a house decoration and do it for every season just by putting something on the o a pumpkin for love a christmas ornament for christmas a heart for valentine's you see where i'm going like you could do it for anything I'm probably going to DIY with this something. I don't know yet what, but I will. It's going to go in the stash for decor that I'm going to DIY with. And also, I had actually hauled these once before. 
And I said when I hauled them, I should have gotten more, so I did when I saw them. And they have two styles. It's the Simply Blessed and Bless This House. All right, so super cute. There's so many things I want you to look at this for. Number one, you get a nice hook on here that you can use on lots of things. But this die cut on the top, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, where's my, I have all my crafting stuff out here right now. I'm like double duty, double duty, duty. Can't even say it. I'm doing double duties today. I don't know where it's at, but I was gonna see if this would pry off. But I'm pretty sure this will pry off pretty easy. This is a great cutout, like a wood cutout to use for so many things. I did shabby chic on Thursday. This would be amazing to use in a shabby chic thing. So I just, like, I love this. Even those stickers that I just I just hauled, like to, to take this and put it on inside of that, or there's lots of ways, lots of things that you can do with it. So I did grab three more, I dollared a few more, just because this, the frame part of this is worth the dollar, like totally worth the dollar for crafting. All right, let's go down the little kitty's aisle. This is just the coolest book. Um, I'm going to give it as a gift for somebody, but this is called 500 dot to dot. I just want to see, you guys have to see this. So this is extreme puzzle challenges to complete in color. This is Greenbrier, but can you look, look at that. It's very intricate dot to dot. I'm like, I mean, I want to do it. Like I, I want to do it. I don't have time, but I was like, I've never seen this before. I think it's so cool. I think it's a great little gift idea. Give this with a package of gel pens. You're into it for $2 and it's a sweet gift. Um, add some coloring crayons. I mean, you know, like this is, but this is just really cool. So I don't know how many pages are in here, but these are just super, look at, check out all the numbers. It's like, oh my gosh, but how fun. It's like just fun. I think that's really fun. And then the extreme opposite of that was this little number which is a totally possum coloring book. You guys, it's little, like, look, it's little. This is like, put it in your purse. Okay, I can't open it, because if I open it, I can't gift it to anybody. Um, but there's like, there's like pages to color in there. I'm giving this as a gift, so I don't wanna open it. How cool is that? Or I could keep it in my purse. Um, it's so cute and it's so miniature. It's just this little tiny coloring book. I absolutely, absolutely love this idea just this little travel coloring book so cute also in their little like kids game aisle thing i found these which are and i've hauled these before but i have a reason for hauling them now and this is the desktop ping pong the, the little ping pongs and these things are so cute like i've said before i need to do a diy using the ping pongs because they're so just they're just so cute um i'm just going to show you one because it's so cute but i bought these because I'm gonna send off pictures and stuff to the grandkids from our Disney trip, but we went to, we opened up every park and we shut down every park, right? Well, the parks closed at like nine, I think was the latest one that closed. Check out these little ping pong paddles. They're so cute, they're so cute. So we would close the park down and we would get back to the resort. It just depended. If it closed at eight, we got back to the resort by nine. If it closed at nine, we got back to the resort by like 10. But every night that we got back, there was still time to go swimming because the pool didn't close at the resort until 11. So we get back and they're like, come on, let's go swimming. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, um, you know, they'd go down to the pool and then after the pool, cause the pool closed at 11, there was ping pong tables. And those you could play until mi midnight. So they're like doing ping pong every night too. So I just thought it'd be super cute to send them a little ping pong thing in remembrance of our little Disney vacation and all the fun that they had playing ping pong after the parks. So. Uh, threw some of those in because I'm going to do, I'm doing little, um, little miniature albums for all of them with pictures from our trip and just did a, just a little memorabilia thing about our big family trip. Okay. Oh, health and beauty. I totally forgot these. Oh, I love these. So last year I did all these skulls, like Dawn, Day of the Dead. I said Dawn of the Dead again. Day of the Dead skull things. And I don't know, maybe I should just try I should try putting on a pair of these. Check these babies out, these dramatic lashes. And I was like, oh, I need these for my skulls. So this one's like, it's it's like got a pinkish, orangish. This one has the purple, look at that. And then this one has, look at this blue. I love that blue in there. And then we have green. Mm -hmm. 
and then this wispy one with the purple in it. I'm I'm loving these, like loving these. I wish I had a Halloween costume that I could wear a pair of these with it. I don't. I don't even know what I'm wearing for Halloween. Oh, I have to figure it out. Okay, where am I gonna go to next? So these new. I've not seen these before, and I'm I love these. So I'm just gonna show you. They're rocks that are engraved with a word. So these are great. If you do like a potted plant thing for somebody to put it in there, or it's just a nice little leave it somewhere with a little card on top of it. Like don't forget to always make your dreams come true. Put a little rock on top because it's like a paperweight. So they have dream, they have believe, strength. What else do we have here? There's like a lot of them. I think I have like nine rocks. Um, courage. These are so cool, like just really cool. Love, um, peace. Ooh, you know where else these would be great? Fairy garden, mm-hmm. Hope, I love the hope, I like that rock. And this one is imagine, imagine all the people and faith. Has anybody else seen these? Like I've never seen it before, it was the first time for me, so, okay. All right, where to next? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, just a few things in the man aisle, and that was a cell phone holder. I broke my cell phone holder in my car, so I thought I would try this one. And then I was like, I don't know, maybe I would try this and like glue it to my dash. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I was like, it's a dollar. I'm gonna try a couple of things just to see. And just a couple of picks. I forgot to put these in crafts. And it's just these roses, and I wanted the roses for my Dawn of the Dead skulls. I'm assuming I'm gonna do that again. I haven't found the skulls yet though, so just realized that I don't have any skulls to do it with. Hmm. Well, they'll be out, I'm sure. In the, in the animal aisle, I also forgot to show you guys these, but you know I'm picking these up now all the time because they're so great for crafting. These are the cat toys. These are gonna be amazing Christmas ornaments. All of these, I'm just, I love these and I love that blue. So I got red, white, and blue. Maybe I should make an America. <laughs> it's okay. And um, I bought some stuff for my Dollar Tree threads. So let me just go over. They had these really pretty scarves. So I think I got three of these because I'm going to take these three. For instance, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do with them so you guys will know. I'm going to take these three, which have this. Look at this pattern. It's very beachy. And I'm gonna make a bathing suit wrap out of these three scarves. It'll be super cute. It's gonna be super cute when I'm done with it. And so I purchased three of those to do that. So that's going in my Dollar Tree threads, which I'm collecting the stuff so I can do a video or two, probably in the beginning of the year because I've gotta collect all the stuff and I don't wanna do it, you know, like anyway. So I'm pretty sure that's when it's gonna happen. But then I also found um, this one, which I also loved and so I, picked it up, but I'm not sure what I was gonna, I don't remember anything necessarily. Maybe I just liked it. Maybe this one's for me. I think that's what it was. I just like this scarf. And obviously I love this scarf. So I did snag two of these because these I'm hoping are gonna become like an overvest. You know how you put on like a sheer overvest thing? So that was what my plan was with this because I felt like this was sort of, you know, you can wear it um, casual wear and the polka dot black and white is really good for casual wear but the black and white in general is this one is just a really pretty bright color it's a um it's a cowl neck one and i'm thinking and i hope this will work but i was thinking it would make a super cute little a skirt for a little girl and all i would have to do is to i'm going to fold it over glue it down put a ribbon through it and then it you would just put a bow on it for the around the waist. And I think it's long enough so that it's gonna have enough gather to be a little girl skirt. But then I also thought I could pick up one of the costume tutu things and put that under it. So it'd be like this cute little fun, fun little skirt for a little girl. So that was that idea. I just like pink. I like pink. Isn't that cute headband? I like that headband. And then also, oh, see, I did pick up, I'm so, I'm such a goof. I picked up three and three. So I also got three of these because I did like that pattern because I'm going to make two different ones out of that. They were just really beachy and really pretty. I love the colors. So those are going to make great bathing suit wraps and super easy. 
Oh my gosh. So I don't remember what they call these gators or whatever, but look, it's pirates. I was like, yeah, there was only one. Had they had more, I probably would have bought them all, but um, they didn't. They just had the one. And so I don't even know what I'm going to use it for. It's going to go in the wedding stash because I'll probably like open it up and use the material somehow. That's, I'm for sure that's what's going to happen. I did snag a hat, this hat. Um, I'm not really big on their hats and I kind of like, don't like the way they lay, but that's okay for my Dollar Tree threads, my DT threads. I'm going to um, do a hat. I thought I would just design a hat and like hopefully match it with, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, cause it's clothing technically, right? I think so. And also for DT threads, I snagged some of their, um, what are these called? Dish towels because I'm gonna make aprons. So I just thought it'd be super cute to make an apron, especially this roll it one. And it'd be super easy. I think that qualifies as clothing, right? Doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. Let's say it does. I'm gonna need to get a sewing machine. I don't have one right now. All right. The last thing I have to show you is in the candle area. This is just one of their LEDs, but it's red. So I bought it just to throw into the Christmas stuff because I'm sure I'll need it in the Christmas stuff. And then two of their glass votives, also for Christmas and like fall stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna need these. And then these, which I was like so excited about. They smell amazing. They're Betty Crocker. They are Betty Crocker candles. Are they distributed by Greenbrier? No, they're Star Candle Company. General Mills, Betty Crocker. Like, why are these there? I don't know. This is um, gooey caramel monkey bread. Mmm. Mm -mm, that smells good. This one is triple berry pie. By the way, if you were doing a gift basket for somebody that's just moved into a home or just graduated cooking school, I don't know, or whatever, these would be a great thing to throw in there to do a nice little kitchen basket. This one's apple crisp pie. For uh, If you're going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving and you want to throw together a little something, get the apple crisp pie candle and put it in there with something else. Can't think of anything right at this moment, but you, you get where I'm going. Be nice. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you is my favorite thing on this haul. These are so beautiful. Like, I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I'm like, why didn't I get more? Don't I always say that? Why didn't I get more? Because I don't need more. Check these out. These are so beautiful, you guys. They're like, they're like that shattered glass look. These are so, so high-end looking. I'm like, what are they doing at the Dollar Tree? I don't know. Are they green briar? Does it say? I can't read. This is so small in this thing. Um, I can't tell. I don't know. Aren't these beautiful? So of course, like I have so many ideas, but I'm like, this is another beautiful one where you stack them and you put little things inside of each of them. Oh my gosh, at Christmas. <gasps> this would make the cutest snowman. Cause I could put snow and little Christmas trees in him and a hat. Mm. I'm gonna need more of these cause I'd have to have a set of two. <gasps> what a great gift too. What a fabulous gift, right? So just gonna put snow in them, right? And then like put something like a couple little gifts, a little Christmas tree or whatever, paint a face on it, put a hat on top of it. Yeah. Ah, ah, why didn't I think of that when I was there? Cause I'm shopping. Not in create mode. Oh, mm, these are so pretty. I think they're, they're, they're all the same too. I did not see any different colors. They're like all the same. Oh my gosh, I need to find more of those for a snowman. You guys, it's a great idea. You should totally do it. And so easy too. All right, that's it. That was the haul. I don't even know how long this haul was, but mm, it's a pretty good haul. So let me know what your favorite thing is or what's going to go on your wish list. Why do I even ask you that? Like, mm, like no, don't do that. Well, you can if you want to, but totally love this headband. I look, <laughs> link with the tag just hanging there. That's a good look. Yeah, <laughs> I'll come up as my thumbnail. Okay, I have to go finish getting ready to go camping because we're going camping this weekend. Everybody have a wonderful holiday weekend. I hope you all have a blast. And it's like the last blowout for the summer, right? Mm -hmm. So have fun. Um, I, I know I'm going to. I will see you back here on Tuesday for Totally Easy Tuesday, which I believe will be shabby chic. Um, because I still have it all out and I had a lot of shabby chic stuff and there were some that I could do that would be fairly easy. So I'm going to throw those out there for you.
I think. Yeah, no, I'm going to. Yeah. I don't know. I still gotta get through the weekend. All right, guys. As always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local char... Uh, ter- okay. Have a great day, great week, great life. And from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Hope you liked my finds. I had fun treasure hunting. We'll see you on Tuesday.